So guys, first, I'm gonna clean this a bit. There is some. Carefully slide the drum out. Here are splines. I think they call splines. So. And this one has to go. Go to the splines. Yep. Slides in. Okay. Clean it now. Okay. The first is a friction plate. Slide it carefully in. Then we have a steel plate. Friction plate goes into there. And the steel plate into there. Easier. Something very important is going on with the last friction plate and that's why you always should watch my entire video from begin to the end grab a cup of coffee and just listen and pay attention to what I show you this last friction plate doesn't come in the usual position and I'm gonna show you watch I zoom in as you can see all the friction plates are in these yeah, slots but the last one has to go onto this one there not there but there you could if you didn't watch my video, put it in like this. See? But that's wrong. It has to be in that position. And that has to do with the slipper clutch. This bike has a, what they call a slipper clutch. First, we have this one and this one. You see how it's bent? This one falls into there. Noting that it's the way it's bent. Then over here we have the three other springs. And they are in. They fall in like this so <clears throat> yes Opa. everything in place then call it Screw the net on. So. 
So, now, ladies and jerry cans, that nut should be at 147 newton meters. Wait a minute, this is 140. Pick a day, seven further. Okay, then you gotta hold it over here. There, you gotta block it. Wait, this one. And this one needs to be torqued. I blocked it over there. Hopefully that works. Yes. Was that easy? <laughs> no way. Can you do it? Why not? See you tomorrow. Huh? We torqued our nut. Here's my crayon. Mark it. The bearing. Don't forget this one and this one. And it goes in here. Be sure that this, yeah, what is it, gap is nicely cleaned. This one comes on top, like this. Then we got our spring, clean it a bit, and I'm not sure if I can put it in by hand, I think up so my spring is in here and it was some the, the gap was somewhere over here so put it there job done this ring fell off so give it a clean so good put it back Ta -da, ta -da. to go in here. Now, first, put that one back again. Got my torque range, and according to my friend Kawasaki, they need to be torqued at 9.8. So that's 9.8, just below 10. This will do the job. 9.8 Oh, 
deze kant. Dus let's start them. My crayon talked, 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 all of them are talked. Yes, so now, always, whenever you put your torque wrench away, always roll it out and then when you start feeling a bit of a drag, that's enough. Never leave it on a, on a, a, a torque moment each. Then it goes uh, out of spec. I got these. Uh, this one goes over there. Yeah, short one. This one. Even kijken. Uh, yeah, and two over here. So let's see, ladies and jerry cans. That point is a, a rubber uh, grommet and it goes into the other underside of the radiator. Up, now, could be a bit of a struggle. Could, huh? Not sure. But, hold this a little bit up. More, more. No, not at all. Oh, and that one, now, easy, small one, mm, even kijken, goes over there, oh, not that difficult. Okay. <laughs> From the old mechanic, beep, tip alert. Sometimes when you have a, a bolt in a hole that's not aligned perfectly, just see, sand it a bit to a point so it slides in. And it, yeah, see. Pop, pop, pop. Even kijken. Ah. Over here are two nuts. It's a bolt and nut construction. So the bolt on the back and okay tied it same goes for this one okay One. 
<coughs> put my torque wrench to oops 44 oh wait a minute this is 40 plus 4 Okay. Okay. I'm a crayon. Oh, oops. Torqued, torqued. Then these two. Okay, torqued. Then this one we need to torque this one. We need to hold the bolt on the back side. Okay, this one was already torqued. Torqued. Uh, even kijken, those two. Forgot to put the camera on. But in the meantime, over here is a bolt. Um, probably you can't see it, over there is a bolt. It's a socket of 14. And it was actually easy. Very easy up. Now let's see. Over here is the old exhaust gasket. And now, because these are rusted, watch, zoom in for you. See, I have a normal nut. What I'm gonna do now is put a dab of good old copper grease, put it on, so, because they always tend to rust and with a bit of copper grease you prevent that and in the future, no, and in the future with the copper grease you can always lose them very easy the downside is <laughs> the first time it's gonna smoke a bit but I'm not sure that is a problem <laughs> I put on a nut of 13 just for putting on the okay see Goes on easy on and off. Oh, this one too. Hoppa, kijk. See? So that's the first thing over here we have the bolts of the nuts they ride on easy now too this one this is actually all for the future for future mechanics We got a new exhaust gasket goes in over there, but to keep it preventing from falling out, I'm gonna do a little bit of grease onto it, just a tiny bit. 
So, hop. And then, up. Yes, see? And onto this one, I'm gonna do a bit of copper grease also. So it slides nicely in that big gasket. Underneath. And it does smoke, but it goes in easy, as you will see in a moment. So not too much, just make it slippery. Hop. Now. First, get it over there. Yes, perfectly and perfectly over there. Now, so guys, now. We have the exhaust, and now we have this uh, bracket thing. Each, hey, I have friends. <laughs> Kijk, they slide into each other. Supersonic system works very good. Very good. So, even kijken. Yep. One. Yeah, slides here, one at the top, yep, I already made them, kijk, yes, oh, easy as del, <laughs> hop, die, so, now, it sits nicely in place, Let's see, that's 12, I, 13 maybe? No, 12. There we go. Now, we just. Wow, a long one. <laughs> one here. One. No. 12. 12. So, now, underneath is this clamp, it's now easy, easy as Dell. So, not too tight. This is the, uh, yeah, what is it, cover, and it has those iron, uh, things, three pieces, there, there, and you have to slide, oops, like this, and use the clamp to get them tight. No, I used my long because I, I want this one to be out of sight. That's yeah nicer, I think. This one too. Go to the bottom half. Then take my 
short. Extend that. That'd be too long. Yep. Yes, D, D, and this one over here. Not too tight. Oh, get my crayon out of the way. So guys, that was my video about how to renew the clutch plates on a Kawasaki VN1500 Vulcan. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. You can do it yourself with my video. I'm sure you can. Wasn't that uh, difficult? No. No, if you have the right tools with my uh, three videos, you can do it yourself. Save you a lot of money. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. And for now, Old Mechanic, out.